pancreas is an organ that plays a role in the digestive system, producing digestive enzymes that work to break down carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. The pancreas also makes insulin, which enters the bloodstream and is a hormone that metabolizes sugar in the blood. When there are increased levels of sugar in the blood, the pancreas is signaled to produce and secrete insulin. This insulin is circulated throughout the body by the blood, which allows sugar to enter the cells of the body. Glucose, or sugar, is the preliminary source of energy for cells in the body that make up muscles and other important tissues. Glucose, essentially, is the fuel for muscle cells in the body. When someone has type 1 diabetes, their pancreas produces little to no insulin. This means they do not have enough insulin to allow glucose into the cells, leading to sugar buildup within the blood. This can have very serious, even deadly, repercussions. Type 2 diabetes is a chronic medical impairment in the way the body metabolizes sugar and uses it as fuel. With type 2 diabetes, there are two significant issues. The pancreas does not produce enough insulin, and the cells within the body do not respond very well to insulin. This means that the cells take in less sugar, which increases the sugar levels in the bloodstream, and there is not enough insulin to regulate the movement of the sugar into the cells. People with prediabetes have blood sugar levels that are higher than normal, but are not high enough to be diagnosed as type 2 diabetes. Symptoms of type 1 diabetes include excessive hunger, excessive thirsts, blurred vision, fatigue, frequent urination, and a dramatic weight loss in short periods of time. Next, patients with prediabetes usually don't experience any symptoms, but if they start to experience increased thirst, frequent urination, excessive hunger, fatigue, and blurred vision, that means that they have progressed into type 2 diabetes. High blood sugar, which is common among diabetes patients, can cause gastroparesis, which impacts the way food is digested. During digestion, the stomach muscles tighten, which helps to move food along the gastrointestinal tract. Gastroparesis can lead to nerve damage, which can hinder these stomach muscles' abilities and cause them to slow down or stop working. This directly impacts the time it takes the body to absorb food and nutrients and makes it difficult to moderate the insulin needed for different portions of food. Patients with gastroparesis may feel bloated or uncomfortable after eating even small portions of food, as the stomach takes more time to digest and empty its contents. Those who are of higher risk of developing type 2 diabetes usually are overweight, over the age of 45, have a family history of the disease, and have a higher level of abdominal fat. So to prevent them from having diabetes in the future, it is important that they maintain a healthy lifestyle with lots of exercise and healthy eating. Diet is the most important part of both preventing and treating type 2 diabetes. A change in dietary choices can help to maintain a healthy weight and increase the body's sensitivity to insulin. Making an effort to exercise regularly can also help to decrease body weight and increase the body sensitivity to insulin, thereby helping to control blood sugar elevations. Type 2 diabetes can be managed through medications, insulin, and weight reduction. Medications for type 2 diabetes, such as metformin, works in a way to increase the insulin output by the pancreas. Others work to decrease the amount of glucose released from the liver. Type 1 diabetes cannot be prevented. However, some people may have certain genes that may make them more susceptible. Or, it's possible that a trigger in the environment, such as a virus, may play a part in developing diabetes. Type 1 diabetes must be managed with insulin. Insulin injections as a treatment for diabetes was discovered over 100 years ago. People with diabetes used to have to use syringes, needles, vials of insulin, and alcohol swabs, and take multiple shots per day. Now, many pharmaceutical companies offer more discreet and convenient methods, such as an insulin pen, which is a small pen-sized device which holds an insulin cartridge. Think of an ink cartridge in a pen. The amount of insulin required can be dialed in 
and the release mechanism will allow the needle to penetrate just under the skin and deliver the required amount of insulin. An insulin pump is another option. It's a battery-operated pump and computer chip that allows the user to control the exact amount of insulin being delivered. An insulin pump eliminates the need for the user to take multiple shots per day, since it's constantly attached to the body through an infusion set, which consists of a thin plastic tube and a small needle called a cannula, which is inserted under the skin, usually in the abdomen. In very severe cases, a pancreatic transplant may be recommended to those with type 1 diabetes. With 1 in 3 Canadians having diabetes or prediabetes, scientists are continuing to work to find alternative methods for treatment and improve the lives of diabetes patients.